what we have here is the mounting conversion kit. It will convert any mount, uh, TV mounts, for example, from 100 to 100, 100 times 75 to 100 times 200 or 200 times 200. Purchase this uh, off eBay for $15 shipping included. The purpose of which is to mount my uh, LG TV, the 32 inch, to the desktop mount that I already have a video for. To start, what you're going to do is actually set up the mounting extension kit, which came with eight screws and washers. As you can see from the video, you want to attach two screws and two washers per side. So two on upper left, two on upper right, and so on and so on. And there's instruction book right there. This picture just shows you how it will look once the extension kit itself has been installed. There are two screws that's holding the extension to the regular mount. This regular mount is 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. And then what you're going to do is after it's finished, all four sides, you mount it on the back of the TV. For example, this LG, which is 200 times 200 millimeters mount, like this. And make sure you pull on the right side, which we will know because when you put the mount on the back, the kit should be flash against the back of the TV with no gaps. For example, this one is mounted incorrectly, so I just have to reverse it. Now that the direction of the mount has been established, the next thing we're going to do is actually tighten all the screws. Why are we doing this? Simple. is because it's holding off by eight screws. And with lot more points of failure you really want to make sure everything is tight in fact once I pull on the mount I need to maybe take it down or just somehow tighten the screws as you can see every once every couple months or at least maybe once a month I would check the next step is to use the correct screws in this case four and four screws and the adapters necessary to finish the mounting in the back of the TV so this is what the finished product should look like at the back of the device. Again, just make sure everything is really tightened since we're using an extender. Now with all the mounting brackets tightened, I'm ready to uh, pull it back into the uh, desktop mount that I already did a review. I will show a picture afterwards. Okay, this is where the TV is now mounted to the exact same desktop mount that I had before where I mounted the Samsung. Looks pretty good, pretty even. In the back, as you can see, here's the original plate and here's the four extenders. Now, in just basically instead of four screws that goes to the back of TV, one, 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 you're going to add I added two additional screws each. So once in a while, I was thinking even without taking the TV, just make sure to tighten the screws here.